Hey guys, a little get ready with me, but I want to show you guys a new product that I got in the mail. This is the Nude Glow by Glam Glow Glow Starter. I don't think this is like super new, but it's something that I, I tried a long time ago. And I remember me really liking it. It gives you an instant Hollywood glow. Wear alone or layer with favorite foundation. So I'm going to put this on before I do foundation because, you know, I like to prep my skin very, very well. All right, so that's what it looks like. It has a really nice consistency to it. And I'm just going to take it and put it on my skin. And then we'll put foundation over it. And we'll see how it goes. I instantly, ugh. This is called Nude Glow. And I love it. Already? Smells really good. Oh, my skin feels nice. I think this will be perfect for the summer season. It's very lightweight and not heavy at all. I'm going to go in with my brow products. This is the Too Faced Brow Wig. Let me open it. And I just want to go in simple with my brows. And I'm just going to use this to just kind of just give a natural brow fill. Nothing intense. And then I'm just going to like kind of like go forward and a little like down and then up. For eyeshadow primer, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. This is their Pore Potion eyeshadow primer. This is my favorite eyeshadow primer for every day, you guys. Especially if you're just going to go in with the wash of color and you just want something to stay. You just want your eyeshadow not to crease. This is perfect. And it's really good. You can even like blend it in with your fingers. I like to use a brush usually, but I don't have my brush on hand right now. I'm just going to use my finger. Really helps. Eyeshadow today, I'm just going to go in with my e.l.f. This is the Hot Jalapeno eyeshadow palette. This is like a $3 eyeshadow palette. And this is really pretty. I'm going to go in with this darker color right here. And I'm going to take it on an angular brush. And I'm going to just use it to crease, just to build up this crease over here. And I'm just going to shade it like so. And I'm just going to kind of also build this crease right here. Just going to shape it and kind of like increase it right there. And when you do this look, you want to look forward. You don't want to, you just want to keep your eyes open because it'll give you a better shape. I'll just do that. Then I'm going to take this end and I'm going to literally just blend all this. And for my lid, I'm actually just going to go into my MAC powder. And I'm going to use that to kind of just add more of a defined look to my lids. And at the same time, just to blur everything out really nicely. Because right now everything's looking like really harsh. So I just want to blur it all out really nicely. So I do want a little bit of dimension, so I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And I'm going to kind of like dab that on the outer corner creases, like on the outer corner. I'm not really going in with a lot, just a little bit, just to give a little bit of dimension to the look. Okay, so now that I kind of have a base, I'm just now going to go on to this top line and tight line it. And then I'm just going to kind of like 
soften it with this brush. And then I'm gonna go over here and soften it a little bit here. Okay, I must admit that this got more dramatic than I expected. So most likely tomorrow I'll try something a little bit more subtle, but I'm not gonna wipe this off. I'm gonna trust the process. Before I go into foundation, I'm going to go in to my all-nighter vitamin C cactus flower water. It's all day wear and it's supposed to be hydrating and it also has vitamin C. I said that already, but it's a new hydrating setting spray from Urban Decay and I am always here for anything that says hydration. So I'm gonna spray my face before I go into foundation and after foundation, because I've never done this before, but I feel like this would be good. The Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, and this is in Light, Revela Light Revealer. <laughs> um, I got the shade Tawny, so I guess this has little luminizing effects to it. It's a tinted moisturizer, but it has the luminizing effects to it. So I'm just gonna go in on my beauty blender and I'm gonna press this into the skin. I love the tinted moisturizer, you guys. It is one of my favorite products, but I want you guys to know it is definitely not a full coverage foundation. For my under eyes, I'm gonna go in to my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer and this is in the shade 3N. This might be a little light for me, but it's not gonna be bad. I'm just gonna layer it on today since I'm already here. Sometimes I like to do like a heavy look and sometimes I don't. So today's a heavy vibe. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Beauty Blender Something is up with this like beauty sponge, I feel. It's like really picking up a lot of product. Like it's not necessarily blending, it's just sucking the product up. Which is great to prevent caking, but at the same time, at the same time, I don't want all the product to be gone. Okay, so now I'm just going to set my under eyes. So I'm just using my Laura Mercier powder. I'm actually gonna use an eyeshadow brush today to kind of set in all areas. So I'm gonna use the candle glow from Laura Mercier to give myself a little bit more glow because I really need more glow. <laughs> so this is in the shade three and what you're gonna do is you just kind of use this on the perimeters of your face, and it just gives you the prettiest, prettiest glow. I also like to use it in the center of my face, so it can give me a really nice glow. And So for a bronzer, I'm just going to go in with my MAC Mineralizer. This is in Dark Deep, and I'm going to use this as a bronzer slash contour. And I'm just going to pull it up. The brush I'm using, this is my Benefit bronzer. I want my skin to be super bronzy. So a little technique I love to use is I love to go in with my MAC Studio Fix and I like to kind of shape up 
certain parts of my skin well of my face and just give it a nice clean blend and if you see right here I make a line just to clean it up but right here I'm gonna actually diffuse it so it all looks like one and I'm gonna go over here and try to diffuse it too and so it just looks like one right it looks a lot more blended on my forehead I'm just gonna try to diffuse these little areas too so everything looks nice and blended gonna do that over here in my nose area so if you look how blended everything looks but you can tell it's still very harsh over here so I'm also going to do the same thing. And when I do that, it's going to blend everything out seamlessly. As you can see, there's like a little bit of a harsh line right there. It's nice and blended on this side. So what I do is I'm just using a blending brush and I just go ahead and blend that line together. And then I try to go over here as well and I blend these as well. And then I just kind of focus over here Make sure everything's nice and blended. There's no harsh lines. And look at that, seamlessly blended without taking away the actual shape or the color to the face. Okay, let's go into the under eyes. I'm just gonna take this color and I'm just gonna take it all the way under. A little bit of a blend. Do you still want the evidence of the color? I still always think this eye looks better than the other eye. But you know, we're human, we can't perfect everything. For blush, I'm gonna go in to my Peaches by MAC. And I am going to add that right here in the center. Peaches is a really good color because it's just a matte peach, like no shimmer in it, nothing. And this is by MAC. And it's just like a divine blush, especially if you want to go on heavy. I tend to go on heavy because this will die down. It's not going to stay like that. And you just want to make sure you blend it as much as you can. I'm just gonna take this blender and I'm just gonna get areas where I can blend it out a little bit more. Just a little tiny eyeshadow blending brush just to blend lines and make sure your complexion is perfect. I think today I'm actually gonna contour my nose. I'm feeling a little bit of a contour on the nose. Okay, I don't remember how to contour my nose, but I'm trying. And this is like reminding me of so 2016. I haven't contoured my nose in forever, but I don't know why. I just feel like doing it today. And I think I'm completely messing it up, but I'm doing my best right now. <laughs> hmm. I don't know who told me to do this, but I'm doing it. And it may be not the brightest idea. Okay, there's my contoured nose. I've never understood the concept of a contoured nose, but I really do try to do it because I actually like it. This is a trusty brush to blend it out. This is the Morphe. MO. I don't even know if they even carry this anymore, but just watch how this baby blends this whole contour out like a dream. Just watch. See how it's like already contouring the smack out of it? Definitely contouring isn't, I mean, I know a lot of people do this all the time. I cannot contour every day. That's just not gonna happen. Sometimes I will, sometimes I'll catfish the internet, but I can't do it every day. Sometimes just being yourself should be totally enough. 
If you want to experiment and do some fun looks, then you should do it. Okay. How did that blend out? And my nose looks so different right now. It's chubbing me out. So then to completely blend out this contoured nose, I'm going to go in with my trusty... And so I'm just going to go right here. And I'm just going to blend this out. Look at that. I'll do the same thing to the other side. I'm gonna go right here. And I'm gonna. Then I'm just gonna go up and down right here so it just like all blends all together. And somehow, some way, my nose got contoured but I totally don't like how it looks. So I'm gonna go in with my Rimmel Coffee Bean and I'm just gonna use this as a lip liner. I'm gonna do the same thing on the top. Then I'm gonna go in with Slay All Day Squad by Lottie. Told you guys I needed a little bit of a lip liner. And then I'm gonna just kinda like hop that in the middle. And blend everything. Mm. Hmm, I like this look. This is nice. Okay. I'm gonna just tap all this in. I really like this color. I like this color combo too. Okay, so the lashes that I put on today are Ruffle Lashes. I love these lashes. They're like 15 bucks for four. And they look like really nice, high class lashes. And I also like that they look natural, but they kind of give you an oomph and they're so comfortable to wear. Okay, here's my full look, you guys. I'm gonna finish it off with the all-nighter spray this is a hydrating spray and i actually think it's pretty awesome okay guys so this is my finished look oh i gotta do like the whole bangs thing I'm trying to do like a farrah faucet moment okay guys so this is my finished look i hope you guys enjoy my makeup look also, all the links to the products are down in the bottom.